Oh, what's going on, Knuckleheads? GKM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox live stream. But I'm not alone. Today, I bring the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy, Nooch, too. Good. Say what's up, my guy, Nooch. What's up, my guy, Nooch? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Nooch, first thing we got to do, Fernando, you got to tell us if the voices, the voice levels are all right. Do I got to come down? Does Nooch got to go up? What's happening? I just got to wait. Fernando's always a guy. For... He has to remind Nooch not to uh, leave his mic on mute on every stream, so. <laughs> Fernando is the guy. Fernando is the guy. So, Nooch, let's just get into it. I'll wait for Fernando to... Uh, you know, give me his opinion while I'm just doing a little bit of a uh, shop buying and stuff. We were just talking on chat about what do the devs care about. Now, you think they actually care about money. I find that hard to believe because they do a lot of things that don't make them money. So, Nooch doesn't have the history of the game, but let's 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 talk about let's let's have an economics lesson, okay? I'm here so, for it. <laughs> so the game came out last February, right? Or March, I guess it was. So we've had the anniversary. And I'm sure that Gameloft set some kind of financial goals like, hey, we're, we're thinking this game will make, I don't know, $150,000, $200,000 a month. We can put our devs on it. We can take some time and develop it. And we can put Ghostbusters out in September, and that'll make a bunch of money, and we can, we can kind of gauge from there. So let's invest in this development team of seven, eight people, really strong developers, do a great job, blah, 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 blah. And then it turns out the game is only making um, 60, 50, 60, $70,000 a month, which it made made $70,000 in January. Nooch just looked in February, the game made $60,000. And that's an estimate from Sensor Tower. And if a game's only making $60,000 a month, um, you know, that's only going to pay for three or four developers max. And those are cheap developers. So those are, I you, don't think it's, an those are Ukrainian developers. developers. Say what? Those are the Ukrainian developers. Yes. I, they're clearly not, uh, they got them English on the, not their first language. Got yet. them on the low, low. <laughs> so, well, I mean, you know, Ukrainian developers can be as good as anybody else. Oh, no, I, I, I like these devs in terms of <laughs> the work they do. I, yeah, Nooch does too. I've really gotten along with him since joining the content creator program, but it just doesn't sound, it just doesn't seem like the game has the monetary potential that, that Gameloft was hoping it would have when they launched it. And I think that downstream leads to the smaller development team and less development of the game. But why though? I mean, you said we were, we were chatting before. I was actually on, on uh, Twitch over with Nooch a little bit before, and we were talking about... Uh, this is just a clone of Star Wars Galaxies of Heroes, but with Lego. I mean, Lego's just as big an IP as Star Wars, I think, uh, especially that you could bring in different types of IPs and stuff. So why isn't this game succeeding as to where it really should be financially? That is a, that's the million-dollar question, like literally the million-dollar question, right? Um... I mean, I have an answer, but I'll let you give yours. Well, I mean, <laughs> the question is, is is it organically not going to succeed? Now, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes was a game that in its first two months of existence made something like $30 million. And, th and it became a billion-dollar game. Five years in, the game had made a billion dollars. So it's making $200 million a year. It's so that game. game is making about $15 million a month. And the development on there has been was fast and furious from the very beginning. I, this game does not appear to have that kind of upside. And I think if you want Nooch's personal opinion, I think the biggest, the biggest drain on this game having upside. And if we got to go back to the very beginning, because the reason that the raids didn't come out and that we're getting slow development now is because the game developed slow at the beginning and didn't provide the income potential for game law from the very beginning. Nooch thinks the game is hampered by Lego's requirements. You can't put your own name in game. No, so Nooch is Silver Division Ruffian, which is fine and it's cute, but you know, you don't recognize Nooch. If you're playing against Nooch in game, you don't recognize him. Um, so it's tough to have a relationship there. And then limiting the guild chat, all the all the limitations on what we're allowed to do as 
adults with wallets. We are adults with wallets. Yes. <laughs> Kids don't generally have big wallets. If you're going to limit the adult interaction on the game, uh, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying R-rated interaction. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna limit adults from enjoying the game, then you're not going to have the income potential that you need. See, I think that they, I always get this stupid builder node whenever I'm trying to do something with non-builders. <laughs> I think that they have plenty of opportunities and have had plenty of opportunities to really capitalize and monetize in on this game, and they pass up on it every time. If we go back to the very first Basil Brick Pace, you can go back in my channel and look at everything I was saying leading up to that. I said, put Willa in that event store. You will, you will make so much money because Basil is only as good as Willa. Who's going to wail on Basil? When I can't get Willa. But if I have a chance to wail on Basil and Willa, and at the time, there was nothing better, right? You could literally take over your arena shard with those two figures. A lot, a lot of people would have spent a lot of money. They would have made more money on that Basil event than they, than they even would have dreamed of on the Ghostbusters event. That's what that Basil event could have been. And I always track it back to there. Their big, big mistake was they don't cash in when they have a chance to cash in. Now they reworked the Basil event not that long ago and they cashed in. They definitely made some good money when they put Ghost and Slimer tiles out there. I'm sorry, there's no way that they didn't make money on those two figures. So I just think they don't cash in when they can. Yeah, maybe, but you know, again, according to Sensor Tower, according to Sensor Tower, look it up. That's really where you, the the kind of the place you go if you want to see what's going on with money. There were 120 down, 120,000 downloads in February, and they made 60 million, 60 thousand dollars. So, and that's when those events were, and those events were fun. I mean, though, that was the most fun Nuches had playing this game. I, I don't think, I don't think the Basil event was in February. When I, was it? Was it in March? No, that, no, that was a while ago. the The last Basil event we had was in 2020. It wasn't even in 2021. It was yeah, one. It was one of the I first things they did. I think it was December. I still don't think they're making that much money. If I look back, it looks like December was actually a high point for well, them. Well, you, you, you got to think, I'm not spending right now. And I was somebody who would have opened my wallet on that first Basil event for Basil and Willa. Yeah. But uh, listen, I'll do the booster pass right now. But there were some really good deals in uh, this last event that we did, right? With the, They had some really good packs in the shop. And I was like, oh, these are really good. And I even did in my event store video, I said, these are good value. The Jens pack, the Garmadon pack, even a newer player, the Redbeard pack is pretty good. But I, I'm not going to reach into my wallet and spend on this game when I'm not really sure that it has a very clear future. That's, that's a big point. Um, you know, it's like <laughs> you get promised the raid in September and we're in March and we haven't even, you know, we have not even a, a wind gust of a raid ever coming out. And, you know, the game is a year old. And the content is the same as it was at the beginning. They've added, you know, Ghost as a master event. This game should be adding, and I've said this many, many times, this game should be adding two to five characters per month. I agree. They should just be, they should be roll. And I guarantee, I, I guarantee they've got a hundred characters built in the code and just sitting there ready to use and they just haven't dropped them. Well, it's not a hundred. It's not a hundred, but they do have a, a fair amount. Yeah, just start dropping characters, you know, get them out there and get developing. That's the main thing is it's a collection game and there's been nothing really new to collect. Yeah. Um gosh, since since Ghost, right? I mean, there are collection goals and things to shoot for, but we haven't had a new character in the game since Ghost. I guess we're in it. we're about to get wrestler and corncob guy. Hopefully um, more than that. Right. Well, yeah, we should be seeing two to five new characters in this month every single month every in the game every single month and without that it's it you lose sight of the end game it's like well what is the end game i don't even know i don't even know what the next month game yeah. is and is the next month because look at this month nothing's happened this month we're playing ghostbusters the anniversary event was fun um and gave us a chance to get gave new chance to get gore well and that's great but am I going to see that event again? I don't know. I don't know when these other all-star events that were really well-designed events are going to come out again. So I feel like the anniversary um, event just... was fun, but another blown opportunity to make some money. 
in my opinion. They they could have they could have put that Gorewell those Gorewell tiles in the shop. People would have wailed if she was in the shop and had a better drop rate. Even without the better drop rate, if she was just in the shop, people would have bought those energy packs, and you'd see more seven star Gorewells out there. I think you're right, and um and, and it's yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, they they, it, they it, miss it, opportunities. Yeah, it's just it's really strange too. It's just, it's like. Like there's just this long, there's always a long goal and there's never a short goal of getting this done because I guess maybe the fear is they don't have any new characters to drop so they don't want to put get everybody to wail on Gorewell when they're not going to bring out new content yeah. anytime soon. So that's, but that's, I don't know. That's the problem. So what I would like to see, like you said, four or five new characters every month, one unboxed, one or two unboxed, uh, which are whale characters, brick paces, which you can get them to four or five stars your first time through the brick pace. That's what you should be able to get through. On a brick pace, a four four stars out of it, seven star by the second or third time, and then maybe a a, a master shop figure that you could do an all star event for, and a, a master event figure. Now, Nooch wasn't in when, when you guys had your uh, your chat with the devs the devs for the content creator program. Nooch wasn't in there yet. I'll, I'll be on on the next one for sure because I'm in the program now. But did did you talk to them about those missed opportunities in that chat? There was so much other stuff to talk about. We didn't, uh, you know, but I've mentioned it many times. I've mentioned it on videos. I know they're watching. They watch our streams. Yeah. They watch our videos, which is cool. Like they're, they're at least hearing us, but they're not necessarily listening to us, which is the aggravating well, part. But, you know, developers are not marketers. So, you know, it's, it's hard to blame the developers when they, when bad marketing decisions are made. Yeah. Um, although they probably have some input, but there's somebody somewhere that is making these marketing decisions and basing it on the numbers of the games. So I, you know, it's yeah. it's tough to uh, for developers to take that on the head every time. Well, but they're not developing enough content for the marketers to have anything to do it with to do with Agreed. it. So, and like I get it, they're a small development team. They've got other things going on. This game is not like their it's not their bread and butter. Whatever you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna going to knock them too hard for it, but, you know, at, something's got to give at some point. Yeah. Like, when are we going to get more out of this game than what we're getting right now? And, you know, you got Jester Gogo in the chat, and he keeps telling me, like, are you excited for the Ghostbusters event? And I'm like, no, Jester, what am I going to be excited for? Like, the event store prices are terrible. They're awesome figures that I'm just, I can't get because... I, I'm not going to be able to get Slimer again this time. And that's frustrating. This is my third Ghostbusters event. I've been here since the first Ghostbusters event. I should have Slimer. Right? I shouldn't still have to wait. I I agree with that. Yeah, and, and because you have to get um, to get Slimer, you've got to get the, uh, the all, set. All of yeah. them to five star and the set. Now, mine yeah, are all at four star, one. except Winston. Yep. So Nooch is in the same boat. I don't have those guys start up. It, it, they're so inaccessible at this point. Um, unless you really open up your wallet and you're going to spend hundreds of dollars, you're not getting the Ghostbusters. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really sure that they have not, get, they have not adjusted or changed this event. So I would agree. Nooch is not excited for Ghostbusters either. I'll play through it. Um, I don't, it's, I don't even feel like it's worth a video to show the content because there's nothing Unless they they changed the event and we didn't know it, but it does, certainly doesn't look no, like they, they've they, they the confirmed. They they confirmed a while ago they had it. And like somebody asked me, are you going to make a guide for it? I was like, I already have a guide made for it from the first time. And right, you know what happened with that? The, those guides are still there and nothing has changed. It's like fifteen hundred yep, bucks. No reason to yep. to get the Ghostbusters. Yep. Or why don't we get like a seven star tier for? Woo, or a six star tier for Primo, you know, those would be great things to drop when we get a lot of interest in the game and you produce yeah. some guides and some really good content and everything. So yeah, fifteen hundred dollars to get the the Ghostbusters. Why would you know that's that's crazy. Get <laughs> squeeze people for twenty, thirty bucks at a pop, but fifteen hundred dollars is just for the you know, your es massive whales. Especially on like Ghostbusters was supposed to bring people into the game. You don't just get new players and say, by the way, this game is gonna cost you a you know, a ton of money. Yeah. <laughs> you were going to say uh, another word. There. Yeah. Um, but you know, I got to stay clean on YouTube. It, it, and, um, you know, and I don't, the, here's a, a, a general thought I have of, of people running games in Hollywood and stuff. 
I always feel like there's a bunch of old white guys out there with money that are running all these things and think that uh, things like Ghostbusters are the Ghostbusters are from like the mid eighties. So <laughs> you're talking, you're, you're attracting people of Nooch is like Nooch is old. You're not getting kids in with Ghostbusters. They don't care about Ghostbusters. Yeah, no, I Ghostbusters just, definitely. I, I mean, I, I said it in my last video I did with Vintage. I'll say it again. They could have just done a Ninjago thing like that and put four or five Ninjago figures in the game, and it would have been more successful and cheaper for them. Yeah, I don't see any reason why this game shouldn't have, like, um, three, four, or five Ninjago teams that you could use separately. Yeah. I mean, you've got Garmadon's army sitting there built on that. You could just build a. You could have more than Jago. You got more city characters than Jago at this point, don't you? Oh yeah, you got more city character, more city and castle than anyone else. And castle's great. Castle's like the meta right now, but well, p partial castle is the meta right now. You could run full castle and still be the meta if you're running if you're running like a trader transport or or if, even if just you have run Willa and Basil. Yeah, yeah. because everyone forgets those are ca castle characters. Well, well Nooch has Willa at five right stars. It's just really difficult. to. I, when I put her in Arena, you can knock her out probably 60% of the time if you target her first and get her out of the way, and then the whole battle's over. Yeah. And then you have the Magistos Tower. It just makes the game not fun. Like, look at the game I'm playing right now. I literally yeah. had three figures left, and I'm going to lose all six yeah. of my city characters. Yeah. Like, um, that's how unbalanced Magistos this is. Yeah, Magisto's Tower looks really cool when you get it at first, and it is cool. But um, in Arena now, I, I just Nooch autos it. I, I don't. I have just as much success in Magisto Tower mirror matches or Willa matches autoing as I do playing it like myself, and that should not be the case. Oh, so you have no success because that's what I have all the time against. It's uh, it's fifty fifty really. It's I I can beat it fifty percent of the time. I can beat it 50% of the time when I manually play it. I can beat it 50% of the time when I auto it. So I just auto it. Why would I bother yeah, playing it? Yeah, there's if no it's just, point. You, know, you actually get better yeah. RNG if you auto it. Yeah, that seems to be the case sometimes. I, yeah. yeah, the RNG in this game is... You know, RNG Jesus does not like you if you're a player of this game. <laughs> he's not a, He's not about it. Well, the dodge. You've, you, you've watched do Nooch is raging over all the oh. dodges on his... Uh, Nooch, on I've screen. raged in this game so much. My best videos are all rage. <laughs> People really, they love they love the rage in this game. But yeah, I'm definitely... I'm oh. not I'm not excited for the Ghostbusters to come back. And, I mean, you missed the, the meeting last time because you weren't in the program yet, but the update's not coming till the end of April. So we're probably yeah. going to get Quincy and Imperials back, probably not reworked. And to me, that's a little worrisome because they just put out a bunch of reworks and gave us some confidence that they were doing something. And now they're like, well, you know, we got to work on this next update. Here's a little baby update. Here's two months of just reruns that we didn't rework to keep you guys going. It's like, are we going to constantly have these like two months of new stuff and then two months of blank waiting for new stuff agreed and that was you know that's part of you know if people like just are asking are we excited for ghostbusters ghostbusters feels like no content to nooch like mine as well babe. yeah you can run it but it should be running alongside something new or heck run those all those all-star events for fun run those again but you know just just throwing ghostbusters back out there it's nothing that is that is zilts that's a so with the events that have already come out those should be re re those should be well, reworked. Talk, those reworked. Should be re released on a regular cadence. Uh -huh. Every three months you get Ghostbusters. Every three months you get the Basil Brick Base. Every three months you get the All Star. Whatever it is, and while that's rerunning, you're developing the new content. So you're yep. throwing out something new every month. That's something new and new characters, and that's what we really need to see with the game. Otherwise, we're just kind of up a creek in a game that's just stalled out. And by the way, these conversations, man. I mean, GKM. People have been having these conversations for nine months. This is the same conversation yeah, is... and the reason that we're like Bricko left the game because he just he just was getting nothing out of it. No enjoyment at all. Yeah, Matt left the game too. Yeah. And it's like those were good content creators who were like dedicated to the to the game and to growing the game and doing things to help, especially like Bricko was like the, the the father of the game. Yeah. Like he was the guy. He he grew the player base more than the development team did. 
<laughs> he really did. There, uh, there. Yep. There's some truth to that for sure. And it's like you know, what did he get out of it? Nothing. Brico was a sellout. Dan Thayer said. <laughs> what are you talking about, Dan? <laughs> yeah, he sold. He sold out, Dan. He He's was... mad because Brico quit the game. Yeah. I mean, I, like I said, I, I'm not going to quit. I still like enjoy playing, but it's like I don't blame these guys that did quit. And you know, it's just getting a little frustrating now. Uh, I, you know, honestly, Nooch is not going to commit to not quitting. You know, that's it. It's um, at some point, if you just don't see anything new in a game you're playing, you just get you're just done. You just you look at it and you wake up one morning. He say, "I don't even care to log in because today is the same day as it's been for the last four or five months." Yeah. Um, and I'll be blunt, guys, uh, on the stream. A big reason that Nooch has held on to this game is just you guys. I, I if I didn't have an audience for this game, uh, Nooch probably would not be playing Lego Legacy right now. So, I mean, one thing like I'm the type of gamer who I'm really a collector and a completionist. So. For me, there's like as long as there's still stuff to collect and get, I can still play the game and enjoy it. But when that stuff runs out and like I've got everything to where the the max that it can be and there's still nothing else, I think that's my breaking point. Well, and that's the thing, right? So uh, Nooch knows a guy like Brictini who has he's farmed everything. Everything is at seven stars. He just hasn't upgraded a lot of it because he likes to hoard hoard his uh, gold and everything. But I mean. He's been free to play since the beta, and he has nothing left to farm. Nothing. Yeah, no, so, it's... Yeah. I'm still... I'm not there yet. I still got stuff to farm, like Highwayman, Kai, Iggy. I'm farming up my my uh, costumed guys. You know, I, I'm trying to stay optimistic and keep an eye out for a bright future. But, you know, it, it's tough. It's... it's uh. And I feel bad for the players. A lot of our, our subscribers and stuff and viewers are newer players. So it's like they're loving right. the game and they're having such a good time because the game is really fun when you're playing it. Wow, this is a hard team to face. But, uh, you know, w- when they yeah. get to – I don't want them to get to our point and feel the way that we feel because no on one on should second. have Hold to on. feel that. Wait, wait a second. Is that in, is that in- Brickspedition? This is a Brickspedition, yeah. Are you North? I never play that team. I don't think I've ever played that team. Ugh. I played this team a couple times in Bricks. And this is map one. <laughs> well, Nooch always goes south, so maybe that's this team is North? Might have been. I'll have to go North uh, next, today and see what happens. That's cool. You got That's a brutal team, dude. Yeah, that's, a, this is a, that's not one you want to face. <laughs> like you look at that team i'm like who do i even kill like this is not making any sense that's funny so yeah i you know it is uh it, it is frustrating on the game and i, I really guys i wish i didn't have to say it and I, i've been trying to avoid saying it out loud but the only reason nooch is still playing the game is because of because of you guys because of the people that are subscribing and looking for content if they weren't there and then nooch is just a guy I would have let this game go um, because there's just – we need some kind of end game content. You need – we've been talking forever. That raid is a needed thing. It's not a want. It is something this it's game needed. needs to survive. And not just that, raids. That's just the start, right? Yeah, that's just the start. Yeah. Like there should be another another chapter of the campaign. Like what we just got with all those like uh, tag-specific nodes, there should be a campaign chapter that's like that. Where like this is an end game chapter. Like you have to have all these different teams to beat this. Like that should be one more chapter added to each of the campaigns. Well, there have been zero campaigns added since the game was in yeah. beta, right? None, none, and no I- inclination that they're going to add any more campaigns. Yeah, I don't. That that makes no sense. Like you can't be a year into a game and a game that had a four, three or four month beta, and the daily play, the the farming, daily farming is exactly the same as it was. Because I don't think they've even added any character nodes. Maybe, did they add they, any they, character nodes they, at all? They have before. They've added Chef. They've added Zombie. They've, they moved, they moved, they've, but that was a while ago. Like they, I think the last character that was added to the Monolith Waste was Great White. 
Yeah, and I don't remember that happening. So it was Newt started playing in June, so it was probably before then. Yeah, no, it was pro- it was like right before you started playing, probably. Yeah, that's so, uh, that's a long, long time. I mean, where what are your Ghostbusters looking at right now? Like, where where what are you guys what are you looking at in terms of your Ghostbusters, like star level wise? Let me put, I'm pulling it up. Let me open it up right now. I didn't have it open. Uh, I'm I mean they're all like. Three to four stars, I think. Okay, so but, what what is your um what's your approach going to be with this event? Because I was talking to somebody today, and I was like, honestly, the last time I did Ghostbusters, I spent all of my currency on the bags because I wanted to try to get some bankments. I wanted to just get everyone up, right? And I already have my Winston Max, and it's like, honestly, if I spend if I buy Vankman tiles at twelve hundred a piece. I might as well. I'm better off just buying the bags and rolling the dice that I'm going to get, you know, a, a twenty five or something. Because yeah, I got it. I got to get Ray tiles too, which are also twelve hundred. And I don't think Ray's coming. I don't think Ray and Slimer are going to be in that Basil Brick Paste store anymore. I think that was a one time thing. Um, so I think, and I don't think they're ever going to change the Ghostbusters prices, which is also really annoying. And my fear now is though that the bag is going to be gems and not event currency because that's something I've seen them doing in the other brick paces. They took away the event currency being spent on bags and now you can only spend gems on those bags. So I might not even have the option to buy those bags. Honestly, Nooch didn't even notice that because I, I have not been buying any event currency and didn't even look at it. So, But my Ghostbusters are... Egon at four stars, Ray at three stars. I mean, I've gone through this event twice. Ray's at three stars. Fankman at three, Winston at four stars, no Slimer, and I've got the Ecto-1 at, I think, one star. I mean, it's just yeah. just garbage. Um, two stars from the Ecto-1. But I, I have no strategy. I don't know. I'm going to go in and, and find... Here's how I feel about the Ghostbusters. If there's something else valuable in the shop that'll do me well, like if there's green set pieces in there or um yeah really green set pieces i'll probably buy the green set pieces before i buy more ghostbusters uh, i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna go for the i always i always <laughs> go for the i always go for the stuff you can't farm like i just i spent i, my, I spent I, all my event currency on yorick tiles just because well well you can't farm green set pieces you have to buy them in shops no you could buy them in a uh, brickspedition shop yeah but that's not farming yeah, it's farming uh, the yeah. So your yeah. something that I can't get without gems, like Yorick right. or Egon, I can't get anywhere else but that shop. I got you. So that that's the way that I looked at it. I'm try, I was trying to run my spooky team, trying to well show my yeah, new Yorick. Yeah, I guess maybe I'll do that. I I don't even know what my strategy is. I need to get the event open and see. Most of the time, I save my event currency until near the end, and then I spend it all. Um, but it doesn't even feel like even spending the event currency. Oh look! I took Venkman from three stars to four stars, and now I still can't use him anywhere. You know, so he's actually it doesn't feel he's like actually he's, coming... he's usable four stars. So this is where I do give them some credit. Okay, Venkman is usable at, at four stars, and e- okay, Winston. Egon is Winston's not usable at seven stars. I have seven star yeah. gear seven Winston. He's just not usable. He's not usable unless you have Slimer and Egon and Basil and Willa also on your team. Right. So, I mean, he's so, actually, he's good if you're running him as a second tank. He's really not bad, but it's like, there, there's just no need for him. Because then you could just run like anyone else instead. Yeah, so I, that's my strategy. I really have no idea. And it doesn't feel like, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm Nooch is trying to think about content for this month. And I don't even know what there is. I don't really want to show Ghostbusters. Nobody wants to see that again from anybody. No, um, I don't. I'm having, so... In terms of content that I'm going to be putting out this month, I have more of the coming down the pipeline series with Vintage. Just talk about the stuff that's already in the game files, um, which is, you know, like you said, it's not as much as you think. It's not, there's not hundreds of figures in the game files. There's just not, not even close to it. Uh, and then I'm going to probably do something on like space and arena because I think space is, is really coming on. And then just, you know, try out different stuff. Maybe I'll do a video on Yorick. Six star Yorick, if I, uh, cause that's how I just got him to six star. So I'm not really sure what else I'm going to do this month. Yeah. Nooch will probably finish up. Um, let me take a look here. I got this series going of which abilities to upgrade in different factions. I'll probably finish up that series. 
I think I last one I did was um, what did I do? Did I do City? Did Nooch do City or was it? I don't want to recall. I'm trying to find my last one here. Oh, that also reminds me. People have been asking me to do like videos on sets and stuff. So maybe I'll just cover a lot of the sets that are there. But I mean, that's us making content out of the game, not the game making yeah. content for us to cover. And I mean, no, I, you know, our videos do better when there's new content. Like, you know, if there's an update or something or a Q and A, like those videos always do the best because people are the most interested in that stuff. So I mean, the, absolutely, the, the game does not utilize us as content creators either, which is aggravating. You know, they, they make it a little more difficult on us than I think that they should. I don't agree with all that. It looks like Nooch did space abilities. So Nooch still has to do um, city and collectible abilities. I'm not doing Ghostbusters. So, city, collectible, castle. I need to do those three. So we'll probably do those three over the next few weeks here just to knock them out and talk about the abilities that are worth upgrading firefighter is saying that we should do like ghostbuster streams but i mean i've already completed the event so all you're gonna see is is me farming you know like... yeah there's nothing really to it thanks fernando um i think i did space last actually so but yeah i mean i guess i could stream the ghostbuster event i just but what are you gonna stream? Like... maybe i'll stream if i can if i get a chance to do some of the slimer nodes I can either do a video or stream on one of those, but it's like, yeah, I could do a Slimer note or two on a stream. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's a challenge to it. Well, the challenge is getting your team a high enough level to use. On right, the but that's, nodes. you know, if you're, if you're free to play, you will not be doing that. You know, I mean, yeah. you're, you're looking at, you're looking at a couple of years of these events every three months. Jester said, let's talk positive. He said, uh, new well, and is always positive, yeah. but you know, it's, we're trying to be honest, right? We, we don't want to come in here and just, uh, blow smoke up everybody's rear end. I mean, uh, from Nooch's perspective, um, Nooch is a pretty positive guy. I generally try to see the positive things. Same. And, but it's when you can't pull the positive from what's there, I don't want to just create positive out of nothing. That's just, that's just disingenuous. Yeah. So Jester, like, Listen, I would have been positive. I was pretty positive up until I saw that they were bringing back the Ghostbusters with no changes. And I started to realize that this next, these next two months and this last update really didn't give us much. Well, and weren't those all-star events dev designed by the last uh, d development team? These guys kind of just uh, jumped on there and, and, fi and finished them up. I don't know how much work. You know, people have made it out like the other dev team finished everything and they were ready to go. And these guys just, you know, came in and did it. I don't know about that. I think that they, I think that they did put some work into the reworked on the brick spaces and the, and the all-star mm -hmm. events, I think. And I, Hey, they, they did put together this anniversary event, which was fun. It was fun. So, like, that is a positive to take a look out of that, but, like, that's all they did. So, like, they gave us an update and said, we're not giving another update for two months. Here's one two-week event that, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm a veteran player. I finished it in a day. That's fine by me. I don't mind that. But they gave us a two-week event for two months. And then here's some reruns of events that, not only that, they the worst events to rerun. Rerun the yeah. stuff you just reworked. I would rather replay that stuff than do junk Ghostbusters and junk Imperials, which we're going to get next month, and probably Quincy again, which I liked Quincy, but it was all right. It does need a rework. Um, when are So if the update's not coming to the end of April, when are these new characters going to be released? Is that end of April? End of April. Corn oh Cobb and Wrestler, you can't even farm till the next update. What was the point of putting them in the game? Just so like people would be like, hey, there's something else. I get it. Put it in. Throw it in there as a surprise. Don't make it a major point of your update. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Black Ninja, I can't say 100% Imperials are coming back. But what else is left to come back? There's no reason for them to not bring Imperials back next month. And I doubt, I highly doubt it's going to be a reworked thing. Because... It's one of those things, anytime you ask them a question about it, the question is just ignored. So to me, when they ignore a question, it means 
they're not going to give us an answer about it because they don't the, the answer's no. Yeah, well, and you're asking for answers from developers who are not again, they're not marketing guys. I mean, um so it's but yeah, Nooch is in that chat now and uh they had some positive things to say about like Nooch's last stream and they enjoyed that. I think they really do enjoy the game, but it um yeah, this is going to be a long, slow burn, guys. I, I th- Nooch said in his February, I think in my uh, video, State of the Game for February, if you're looking for a game that's going to develop lots of content and be fun and quick spurts, you know, and bring you new stuff all the time, you're, in, you're just in the wrong game. This game is going to be new stuff every four to six months, and other than that, you're just not going to get it. And uh-huh. that's why a lot of people have worn out and left left the game. I don't know about four to six months new stuff. I think I think we are going to, you know, piggybacking off, trying to keep a little more of a positive side. I think with this next update, we will see updates every two months that will have a fair amount of good new stuff in it. But it, it's just so getting hard. there is hard, and they really they have to they have to put up with they have to show us something with this next update. Yeah. So hurry up and wait is what you're saying. Yeah, hurry up and wait. Well, listen, if you're a new player getting involved in this game, like I said, you're going to have a blast. Yeah. And you're probably, this is probably not a bad time to join because all the stuff we're complaining about is probably not going to affect you at all. So, I mean, there's also, there's that. Can't complain too much other than that. Agreed. Achmed, I don't have a good spooky girl, by the way. I don't have any spooky girl. My spooky girl is like one star. I don't know why I never farmed her. her at six stars. Or, is that right? Let me see here. I might farm her in the next Basil event because, like, pretty much all I have left on my Spooky is Basil, and I got one star left for Yorick, and then I'll start farming Spooky Girl. Yeah, Nooch got Spooky Girl six stars, uh, gear six. She's a good figure. Yeah, she is. You know what it is? I put all my resources, my extra resources, into finishing off or getting Yorick up there. I used Yorick in the last All-Star event. I still have another node to finish on that spooky All-Star event. And they're not bringing that back for God knows when. Like, come on. What are you doing? I want to finish that node. That was fun. That was a fun challenge. Do you mean the... uh, the, um, Spooky kids. Yeah, but I'll you. Newt didn't finish that last node either. And somebody said they could have have bought that back during the Ghostbusters event. Why not just run the spooky kids All-Star event with Ghostbusters? Why not? Yeah. Hey, Jester, uh, the scale from 1 to 10, the raids will be in the next update is probably a 1. They better they, get raids they, in the next update. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, they told you when you had a conversation a couple weeks ago that they hadn't they didn't know where the code was, right? Well, they said they hadn't looked at it yet. So they don't know how okay. far along the other team was. So I'm thinking the other team probably was pretty far along. Because they were literally, I think they were about to release them, and then they found out they got canned. Yeah, and I think that's what held them up. I don't think I don't think they hit any other development snag. Now that's just me speculating, but I do I I would be surprised if they weren't able to get us raids in the next update. Okay. I would be I would be very surprised and sad. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Kiki? Kiki in the stream right now. The number for raids in the next update is negative one, Ahmed said. I think it's a little higher than negative one. Uh, what else, man? What else is going on? We're, I, I hate to come on here and be so negative. I just don't know. You know, I'm just no. trying to be honest. It was never meant to be a negative stream. It was just like, hey, let's just come hang out and, and chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh patrick i don't know if they got canned because ghostbusters made more than cost more i you know I, who knows we don't even know that but i think it's pretty clear it's obvious and, that that's why they got canned, canned right? I, think they, I think they moved them to different projects right so they're yeah. still working for game Law. i don't think they fired um, them but they they probably demoted right. them and took some money away from them and so I think pulled him off his game. some people got canned. I think Waif and Abo got canned. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I, Waif, I think nobody liked Waif. I think he wasn't even that good as a community manager. But yes, Jester said, uh, Maria said, Corncob Man and Wrestler will be farmable. 
I think to Maria that means that you could put them in the ground and, and dig them up because I don't think she knows what anything means. I think that's true. Unfortunately. I Yeah. She is the worst community manager I've ever seen for anything. <coughs> it's challenging. I, you know, um, yeah, I want to be positive and I don't know. I don't know. She clearly is doing other things with her time because I don't know that she spends that much time community managing. So. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what she spends her time doing, but it's not managing this community. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I remember when the new development team came in, they told us all the games they'd worked on in the past, and those were all dead games. Um, like some of them that just came out a few years ago. So I don't know how that's going to work out either. That was one of the things Newt noticed at the very beginning as well. You know, I was worried the second I saw they moved this to the Ukraine. And not that like anything against Ukrainians or people in the Ukraine, but it just doesn't seem like where you put a, you know, like you said, it's a little bit cheaper labor. And I feel like they just kind of put the game there because it was better than just getting rid of it. It's entirely possible. Yeah, I think that's a really good read. And it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me though, like... Like what is the what is their end goal? What is their plan? I asked them in the last Q and A, like, what's your, I guess, one year plan or whatever for Lego Legacy, and they're like, that's a big question. <laughs> it's really not. I was like, if, the if fact there's that, not a one year plan, that's concerning. You should be able to say, here's where we want to be a year from now. Yeah, like that's not good. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for them because we're really hard on them. But yeah, sorry guys. I, I just, uh, but you know, th- th- I think I think what you're saying, G Cam, and, and the thing we can all agree on, this is a really good game for the first six months you play it. It's a really good game. Um, it just doesn't provide enough content for somebody that advances past that six month mark, and especially somebody that's spending and gets past that six month mark. That person is. If you got somebody that's going to open their wallet and is willing to spend two or three hundred bucks a month, and there are players like that, we still have players like that. Give them what they want and give them the opportunity to do that, and then you get a chance to have a successful game. So, but firefighter yeah. just offered that we uh, start a GoFundMe, and as the community, we buy the game from GameLoft. <laughs> hey, start it up, firefighter. Go for it. I wonder how much they would sell it to us for. That would be an interesting, uh, interesting buy, though. Who would even run the game? We have game developers in the community too that could definitely do a better job than these guys. Well, you always think that until you get until you get thrown into the muck of it, and then you know you might be in a different situation. Anybody could do a better job than these guys, Nooch. All right, man. <laughs> Anybody could do it. I, you know, I could do a better job than these guys. I don't even know how to develop a game. I don't even know what I'm doing, and I can do a better job than them. I mean, we, we've we've talked about ideas just on this stream that would be great for the game. Why aren't they doing them? They why why have they not added nodes to the Primo Master event? Like little things like that. Like how do you not do yeah, that? Yeah, that's a very strange one. Like they keep rerunning it and. There's nothing there. Like, there's only things there for people that have been playing the game for three months or less. But, I mean, that that was first run, what, last May? So it's been 10 months, and it's still the same exact event? And how long know. how long is it going to take them to get the ghost emoji in Discord? <laughs> Were they talking about that? Yeah, why, why have she still not done that? Yeah. Like that's that's easy. Literally, I said I can do this and in thirty seconds, and I went to my Discord, and the ghost emoji is there. Yeah, I don't know, man. Side note: I hate anytime I have to face pirates in Brickspedition because it's like impossible to not lose someone. Well, especially when you. Uh... When you start off, you have to you lose an entire round to them because you can't hit anything. Yeah, you get that clumsy round. Um, yeah, Nooch usually uh, for that round in Brickspedition, Nooch will use his own pirates team because Redbeard can cleanse all of it. So I mean, 
I have so many teams that I don't even care if one of my teams dies in Brick's Petition. I usually, usually what Nooch does is I'll put my space team in there. Now I got Gorewell in there, which is a lot of fun. And oh, yeah. I just auto my way through most of it. Yeah, I pretty much auto. Any uh, The only time I don't auto is if I see pirates. Yeah. Yep. Jester Gogo said if we buy the game, he'll officially be the community manager. Yes, Gogo, you would be the, the community manager. Because you would hound our developers every day for info. There would be full transparency with Jester Gogo as the CM. <laughs> Watch out, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know what? Let me do some arena because I have 14 minutes to kill till I get my next chapter. What are you running in arena right now? Um, Nooch is running the uh, Magisto's Tower team I'm with um, with uh, Garmadon and Lloyd. So I'm I, running... Uh, my Willa... Willa is five stars, and I just don't feel like she stands up. And Basil is only five stars as well, so they just really don't stand up to uh, the pressure in arena. Yeah, I'm actually facing a mirror match right now, but they're using Magisto's tower, and I'm running Trader Transport. So we're gonna see how that goes for me. Magisto's tower is so tough; you can get a giant hit on a character, and if it if it's supposed to kill them, they actually will lose no health at all. Zero HP taken. Yeah, you can ridiculous. like like you could hit a, you can have a kill hit on Willow right now and she would take no damage. Yep. Which seems like a fun um you know it should be it should be something that that needs to be nerfed. So cuz it just makes the game unenjoyable. I agree with you there. Yeah, that's it's a stupid uh I don't know. It was it was a cool idea when I first yes. heard it and I was like, "Oh, okay, this is cool. But just those towers, it's going to be good." And it just, uh, it, it, it's not cool. It's its uncool. Well, it's, we've seen it where, yeah, you get you get stuck in an unending loop where you can't get like, um, oh, what's what's the what's the buff called? Uh, hardy, Hardy. Yeah, you can't get Hardy off Ghost or something. You just sit there and you hit him a thousand times. He's got, so that's just a, that's a bug. But um, yeah, I, I just auto arena. I, I'll go in there. I'll do it right now. Actually, I'm just going to auto it. Yeah. Just because there's no reason to go in there and play because my chances are the same autoing it. Oh, like the Magistos, it's just get the fake death and they go under stealth. And you could basically kill someone and they go under stealth. And then on these teams with like Basil and uh, and Magisto, they just like, they live and they come back in their full health. Jester, they're not, they're not forthcoming with that information. They're not going to tell us what's coming in the update a month and a half from now. Jester, they don't tell us anything, Jester. Like, I ask them questions that you asked me to ask, and they're just like, when it gets closer to the update, we'll we'll have a q and I was like, okay, well, fair enough. That's the best it's well, going to get. Well, honestly, that's kind of normal. I, you know, companies don't like to divulge what's coming in two months from now. Um, usually, hints get start getting dropped, like, within a week of an update in most games that Nooch has played. Yes, but... One thing that I did mention to them right in the top of that Q&A, I said, you should at least divulge the information to your content creator program and then say, then let us know it's confidential. So then we can confidently say to people, hey, something's coming. I'm not allowed to say what it is. You're going to be excited about it, right? Let me at least tease that something is coming or, or not, like – let us know and then tell us don't say anything. But if you let us know, because at least people who come to us trust us and they trust what we're saying. Nobody trusts these devs. Well, I hear you, but that does not put them in the position of the raid where they told everybody the raid was coming and then the raid never came. So they could tell us, hey, this is coming. It's going to be awesome. And then we keep it secret. We just say, guys, hang on. It's coming. And well, then we don't say raids. We say, we say they're working on something. And then we say, okay. Something got delayed, whatever. But at least people are don't always feel like they're being lied to, right? We've been led to believe that they were working on raids, and then we had the Q&A, and they said, we haven't even looked at it yet. Well, I, if they were to do that with us, I would say that I would find that abnormal for a game. I don't think most games do that with their, with their uh, content creators on the internet. This isn't most games. This is like a super failing game that needs to do something. 
Uh, that's funny. Sorry. You know, they, they need to do <laughs> take some sort of action because they, they have a, a, a player base that just doesn't have any faith or trust in them. You know, and they've done nothing but let the player base down. It's it's sad. Yep. Yeah, I feel bad. I feel bad for our, our homies over here on uh on our streams and all of like people are tuning in like you know it, it's hard for me to believe that the game it does uh, the game has players you know so why are they not able to monetize the players that are there is a question that they really need to ask themselves and maybe right. it's because they don't take any advice that they're given they don't listen to veteran players who have been playing the game since the beginning and you know they're just not they want to do things their way, which clearly doesn't work, you know? The silent one trusts the devs, though, he said. Silent one. I don't trust anyone that I don't I don't know what they look like, and neither should you. <laughs> well, we don't know what you look like, buddy. I know. <laughs> well, there'll be an official yeah. face reveal at the one-year GKM Gaming anniversary stream. Oh, will we? Yes. I'm going to, I'm, yeah, cool. I don't know. So there were actually some things I was talking about doing for, I'm, I'll run some ideas by you. I was thinking about doing a, a live build like you did with the Kai's fighter, but I want to do the blacksmith shop. The live build was fun. I, I really yeah. enjoy doing those. I'm doing them once a month now and they're a lot of fun to do. Uh, I was thinking about doing like a, uh, premium pack opening so actually buying gems and and uh, opening premium packs right on the channel i think some people said that they were interested in that mm -hmm. and then another thing i was thinking about was buying like a, a case of the collectible minifigures and seeing if anybody wanted to buy them like the unopened packs and open their packs live on the channel and then send them out to whoever bought them interesting yeah, so in addition to doing like some giveaways and stuff and, you know, right. so, some game. Hope, I'm hoping that there's some sort of event that I can stream because my one year is coming at the beginning of May. The update's coming the end of April. So I'm hoping there's something really cool to stream and we could do, you know, I, I'm waiting till I have a little more information to really plan this event because I want it to be a mostly Lego legacy thing, but I want to do other Lego stuff on the channel two that i want to do on this stream so well i'm hoping for you buddy i hope that happens if we get it so that'd be cool to see you do your one year anniversary and do something yeah. fun in the game so. maybe we'll have you on as a guest we'll have some guests for the there anniversary stream i know i have, I have five minute guest spots i have i have one guest i talked to that's going to be coming around for the stream i won't spoil who it is but it's somebody everybody knows Look at all all that clumsy I just had. So we're, we're we're trying to make it like a real special event here. All right, cool. Silent one said the OGs remember when Cactus Girl was good and broken. I remember those days too. Dan Thayer, I'm not telling you who the who the special guest is. There there will be more than one special guest at the anniversary stream. And maybe one of them will be Nooch. If Nooch says yes. We'll see how busy Nooch is at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Game has so much potential. There are so many minifigures to pick from. So, Patrick, I'm assuming you're a newer player because I agree. There's a lot of minifigures to pick from. Oh, no, you mean just in general. Yeah, there in are general. a lot of minifigures to pick from in general. And there's millions. Yeah. No, I've done videos on like, hey, this is what I'd like to see. Dan Thayer said it better not be my girlfriend. What's wrong with my girlfriend, Dan Thayer? <laughs> you got a you got an issue with Mrs. Know. GKM? Uh, is she Mrs.? That's that's not a girlfriend thing. No, we just call her Mrs. GKM. Oh. She's not the official that's like Mrs. Mrs. Yet. Well, is that your wife or your girlfriend? My it's my wife. Okay, that's, that's <laughs> what I figured. <laughs> You have the little Nooch Juniors. We don't like to talk about the girlfriend. You know, it's passe. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about her on the channel. I'm just waiting for the timer to go down. 
Yeah, Silent One made a great point. If the, if the Lego group actually worked with Lego Legacy, they would have a lot more success. It does seem like there's a disconnect there where Lego is not really promoting this game at all. No. And who not knows why? Because it seems like a game that has a lot of potential if they really pushed it and the community that loves Lego jumped on here and played. But there's, there's zero... Pro- you have 56,000 arena currency? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And you got I, nothing to spend on, right? Well, no, I've I've been actually farming Valiant every day <laughs> since oh the update. Gosh. So I was saving, and then the update came. They're like, "Oh, we didn't, you know, we didn't change the arena payouts yet." So I was like, "Oh, well, I better farm Valiant then, because this is my last chance to farm at a reasonable price." Yeah, that's a weird. That was a weird conversation. You guys talked about how they're going to change it and then double the prices, and it's like it what, was so stupid. That's yeah. another thing. Like, like who makes these decisions? And yeah. like, they try to justify it. They're like, yes, but like, you'll have more rewards. I'm like, shut up. Yeah. What do you even? Why would you take a game that's having that's struggling and then do something really optically bad to it? Who knows? I feel like I just played a mirror match and won. So I'm gonna try again. Let's go. I'm running my Trader Transport team. So, Fernando, I actually do see ads. They they run, like, social media ads for the game, which is cool. But I think their, their ad targeting, like, is so stupid. They're targeting me, who's like, I already play the game. I don't need to see ads for the game. Like, you need to just target people who like Lego. But I guess maybe I fall under that already. I'm sure you do. Yeah, I mean, I do love me some Lego, you know. That's my, it's one of my favorite hobbies. Uh, Ahmed, I, I think that's a really inefficient way to get some master tiles with that arena currency. You you have to spend so much of it. Like, Nooch has 70,000 saved up in the um, brick shop, or the, uh, oh my gosh, monolith shop. The, uh, what's it called? The Oh, me too, the monolith shop, yeah. Yeah, I the got so currency. much saved up there, but... It, and I'll spend some sometimes, but it's really an efficient way to get that master master. You, you can't uh, spend master. it. You can't spend it fast enough. That's the thing. Like you, literally, what's the point of, of saving it up? Of of yeah. going out of your way to get master currency? You can't spend it fast enough. Agreed. I'm autoing arena too while we're while we're doing this. Um, Jester Gogo wants me to ask the devs if they named. Uh, update nine, the big update, without even knowing what was in the update. <laughs> I mean, they might have, Jester. I don't think that's what he. I, I don't even know. I never know what he's saying. He he wants you to ask the devs why they named it big, which is nothing to do with knowing what is in. He doesn't care what's in it. He just wants to know why they named it big. Well, they wouldn't. You can't have one without the other. That's a chicken and egg thing. If you want to know why they named it big, then they got to tell you what's in it. I mean, they don't have to. They could just say, oh, well, because there's a lot of stuff coming. Stuff. Oh, yeah. we named it big because there's two new minifigures. Yeah, apparently. I really hope that there's going to be more than just those two. There's so much cool stuff that they have that's already in the game, too. So, like, stuff that I know is realistic that they can do. So I'm really hoping that they do do it. Man, I cannot kill this Willa. And then I just got ultimated. I got super ultimated. I think I'm going to win this, though. <laughs> I've been having really bad, like, success in Arena. <laughs> I actually was using... Oh, yeah, a- that's why I just started autoing it. Because it's just not worth my time to... Because up. Those mirror matches with Magisto's Tower take a full well, five minutes. Uh, that's why I started running Trader Transport and not Magisto's Tower, just because like I'm just like sick of the mirror match, like exact mirror matches. Yep. And I'd like to try your other counter with the with Scarlet, but I've only got her at at. Oh, uh, uh, with the pirates. Yeah. Oh, my game just looks. Like, oh, there we go. Pirates. Pirates works. That's, I mean, it does. I'm it doesn't, probably gonna it doesn't time hold out. on defense at all, does it? Uh, neither does, neither does Magisto's Tower, because you're all facing all the same stuff that you were, you know, you're facing yeah. mirror matches. What, how much are you going to hold? 
Yeah. So it's not like it's not like nothing holds on defense. That's the problem. You know, you get lucky if you hold unless you have Slimer, then you could hold a little bit more. You know, Slimer is going to give you the oh, I just wasted that. I'm going to time out. This is so stupid. This game sucks. <laughs> well, this was a happy chat today. <laughs> That, that's the the game doesn't suck it's just I like to say it sucks because it could annoys me sometimes uh, I hate to be so negative too you know we, we're like the most positive people and then we just had like this pity party of a stream well it's tough to talk about the game without being really honest about what's going on yeah and you have to be yeah if we like I said before if we were on here um, you know, I had a boss one time and they, they changed our bonus structure and we were going to take our bonuses were going to be cut in half. And when, when I went to him and told him the problems, he just, he said, well, why are you being so negative? I'm like, well, I'm just being honest. And you're, you're, you're blowing smoke at me and telling me that this is a great thing for us when, when we're all not dumb, we can all see that we're all losing money here. So if we were just blowing smoke at everybody, I think everybody would, would, uh, be disappointed that we weren't being honest about yeah. the state of the game. And like, listen, I'm the, I'm the first person. When something good happens, I'm always excited. Like I'll do an excited video and and point out the good stuff. You know, I liked a lot of the stuff at the anniversary event, and then I saw the drop rate, and I was like, they just like, I I can't believe I lost that. I can't believe I Sorry, lost dude, that I battle. Just, I just won my auto battle, so I'm good. I started autoing, and then it was just down to just like a little bit left on Basil, and they they couldn't win it fast enough. This game's the worst. Uh, got one more day of bricks left to finish. Oh, I haven't even been doing my... Uh, better do this. What will I do without Poppy and Winston? I don't know. Oh, you got the whole thing on here? What do you mean? Do you have three days saved? Yeah. I, I always save up days when I know I'm going to do a stream. This is all, really all you That's can great. do on stream is play Brick's Petition. Yeah, there's nothing else to do. All right, dude. Yeah, I think we're going to wrap it gonna, up I got to get going here and uh, take care of some stuff. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up because this has been a over an hour stream, and I like to keep them in an hour. If, you, if you're okay, Nooch is going to throw his channel into the chat so people can come subscribe. Oh, with throw that. Rich. Yeah, everybody, go go over head over to Nucci's channel. Give him a sub. Great Lego Legacy Heroes Unbox content creator, and I'm I swear he does more than complain. But I just felt like this was a stream where what's coming Ghostbusters and what always have what is there to do with Ghostbusters? Complain about it because it's the biggest failure that this game has ever known. So that's that. But Yay. that's pretty much all we got for you today, knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button. Come on, there's 17 people in here. Let's make sure we have 17 likes by the end of this video. Give us a like or a dislike if you really hated us. I don't know, you could do that too. Go on over to Nooch's channel. Subscribe to him. Hit that subscribe button over here. Ding that little bell to get some notifications. And as always, remember to knuckle.